Hello friends. So the second part of tuning using the tanpura. As I have mentioned that uh, the first part of the tuning lesson was only meant for the people or you can say tabla players who don't know the tuning procedure. I always use the tanpura for tuning. Even I tuned the tanpura myself. I had the manual tanpura, but I think it is damaged. That's why I've given it for repairs. So how to tune your tabla with the tanpura? First, you should know what are the scales, or safed ek, safed do, safed teen. सफेद चार सफेद पांच सफेद छ सफेद सात काली एक दो तीन चार पांच ओके सो हियर हाउ इट गोज बिफोर ट्यूनिंग लेट मी डी ट्यून द extent by uplifting the wooden dowels gutta as we say how to insert a gutta is very simple if you are muscular enough because I do it like this the way I prefer is like this even if it is a tighter strap with a lot of tension in it still I use my hands okay. let's detune the whole tabla so this is a kind of a dangerous experiment so you need to get the powers of Thanos or Captain America in order to tune the tabla okay sounds oh my god as followed by the procedure as I told in the last video make it uniform or even at all sides this is just an imaginary note or keynote which your uh, which develops thoroughly through years of practice and experience and your ear training. I have chosen, I don't know what pitch is this keynote is it, but let me bring to this point. So we need to get to the key note of G sharp, okay, which is known as Kali Char in Hindustani music. Let's see. I haven't used the Tanpura yet. Before tuning to a particular keynote or a pitch, always have a habit to tune uh, to an imaginary, uh, you can say, keynote of your choice. It, it doesn't need to get bound by 440 or G sharp or anything. Whatever sounds you, and you have to press and check meanwhile tuning, otherwise, if you go much harder. On the guttas, or if it gets much more tighter, 
tighten up so it will get burst or cracked or damaged keep checking if your drum is not too tight okay keep checking the membrane it should oscillate evenly at each sides i don't know what what key is it Let's take another imaginary keynote. That's why in earlier days, uh, great tabla players were fantastic vocalists even. fine tuning process yet here it is more decrease a bit i'm trying to increase a five semitone to the optimum now let's check or take the tanpura and see where the sa is so it goes like hmm okay so you have to check sa sa higher than the sa then you have to bring it down to a desired pitch where you enjoy the sound of the tabla as you can see i haven't used the tanpura before tuning to the uh, near uh, near pitch or you can say nearby to the g sharp so after tuning just try to register the first key uh, the sa or the key note of the g sharp by singing it or try to register it or that is known as ear training sa okay so the g sharp is being registered and let unit without the tuner everyone has uh, their own approach to tune this is how i tune so my uh, tabla hardly gets detuned for i think uh for the whole week if you play as hard as you can hardly just 5 semitones up or down so i uh, i couldn't uh, sing sa because yesterday i was i was trying to sing the bohemian rhapsody so my voice got down
let's check i think that it is somewhere near to g sharp so exact tuning it is very tough and ear training is a very big thing in music in the subject of music may it be hindustani carnatic western uh, or celtic baroque anything now adjust according to the tanpura if you are unable to uh, tune to the desired pitch if your tab uh, tabla is much higher to the desired pitch then you give it a small press not that you need to press the buzzer okay just give it a sm smooth press strength to tune the tabla you don't need the strength of thanos or any historical characters like leonidas or something but just you need to have the right ear training so before uh, getting into tuning the tabla try to sing with the tanpura might be uh, if you can sing the chromatic sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa as i said of the bohemian rhapsody now you can use the lehra let's do fast for me another thing in some apps the tanpura and the lehra is mismatched i have uh, cross checked this one so if you are a good if you are good at uh, ear training or your ears are very you can say sensitive to the key note of a particular pitch then you will easily get that the lehra is not in the proper key note okay so this is how to uh, tuning uh, is done just by a reference then shift, shifting on to the first reference of your own making it uniform then second after bringing the gutters down making it again uniform and bringing it to a desired pitch where the tabla resonates or oscillates the membrane oscillates properly then tuning it very uh, in a refined way and then listening to the main reference or the tanpura then coming back to the tuning process by registering the main key note okay so this is how tuning is done hope you enjoyed my tutorial on tuning there is more to it for tuning the baya how to use the wooden pegs up here okay and how it should be means tuned according to the playability of particular syllables okay it shouldn't be tighter and there there are few facts okay and uh, that's it for the second part let's come back to the third part of tuning of tabla after few days uh, you have you all have practiced this particular tuning lesson at your own risk <laughs> okay okay then fine thank you take care bye bye